High tech and farming. It may not be the two words that some would put together every day, but those in the know know just how much technology is helping feed our world. This new deal announced today is teaming Kentucky with the Netherlands in an effort to change the future of agriculture and our economy. Chris Williams has the story from Frankfurt. The old historic capital here in Frankfurt was the backdrop for this announcement, an effort to link Kentucky's history with what many hope will be the future of farming. For an emotional Rocky Atkins, it also gives hope to a region with a history of hard times. It's a big day for Kentucky, but it's even a bigger day for our little part of Kentucky, a place that I do love from the top of my head to the bottom of my feet, Eastern Kentucky. The project will be statewide, but has an immediate impact on Appalachia, the home of Governor Bashir's senior advisor. 1.2 billion pounds of tomatoes were imported from Mexico 10 to 15 years ago, 4 billion pounds last year. So if you look at our facility, it's going to do about 45 million pounds annually of tomatoes. Jonathan Webb of App Harvest is a key player in this. He's building the world's largest greenhouse in Rowan County, set to open later this year. Wednesday, Governor Bashir signed an agreement with the Netherlands. It creates tax incentives for ag tech, opportunities for grants, and educational opportunities through universities to advance technology already mastered by the European partner, who more than makes up for their lack of size, with agricultural efficiency as the second largest ag exporter in the world. Governor Bashir emphasized the importance of timing and the post-coronavirus economy. It's us maybe a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to rewrite the future of this state to rebuild our economy in a more resilient, modern manner. There'll be a task force that'll meet to discuss strategy, and there's already a state website designed to help those who want to get growing. At the Old Capitol in Frankfurt, Chris Williams, WHAS 11 News.